Okay, so the ribs have been steaming for a while. They're about ready to go. We're going to take one out and test it here in a minute. But uh, I'm going to show you very quickly how you locate where your ribs are going to be on the boat. Uh, this particular one, I've just got a cloth tape, cloth tape measure, and I've got it taped at this end, taped at that end. And uh, this boat is from the from the end of the keels and the other end is about 12 feet 4 inches. So you go down to 6 foot 2 inches and you make a mark. And then you just start going, and on this particular one, I've got the ribs spaced at five inches. So you just go down through every five inches, you make a mark on the keelson. You can see some of the marks down through here. And then to figure out where the ribs are gonna fall here, what I do is I take, again, another cloth measure, another cloth tape measure, and just put a clamp on either end to give it a little weight. And then I just run it across the, Run it across one of my marks up there and then just let it hang. And wherever it hangs here, I make the mark down here. And this is going to tell you where your rib needs to run. You do that on both sides. Only takes a minute. Uh, it's not exact, but it's close enough that you can get your ribs in the right place. So now we're going to take out a rib and see if they're ready. They've been steaming for uh, probably 25 minutes or so, 30 minutes. Um, gloves, because they are hot. The ribs themselves aren't that hot for too long, but they, uh, what the steam coming out is. So we're just going to grab a rib, any rib, pull it out, close the, uh, close the front cover, and to test to see if the rib's ready, you don't need to put it inside the boat, you can just put it somewhere down around here and just, just kind of bend it to see. See if it'll take the shape, okay, which it does. So if it does, that mean your, means your ribs are ready. So you start in the middle and you come up to where one of your middle marks is. You pull the rib up and then you kind of force it into the shape along the sides here. And then using a spring clamp, you put the spring clamp on, you pull it up into shape here. And I have my clamps on the wrong side of the boat. Could you hand me one of those little clamps right there? My videographer slash helper over here. And then you put, I use clampets, but you can use spring clamps. You make sure you're tight on the sides here. Make sure it's in the right spot. And you've got about two minutes while these things are still pliable enough to work. And you come around. Again, you fit it onto the ribs here. That rib is now in place, ready to start drying. Just make sure it's got a nice tight fit, that it's against, it's against your marks. See it right here, it's a little bit loose. It's not quite touching right there, so push it up a little bit more. Put a clamp there. And now it's ready to go. And that's about how long it takes. Uh, practice does help, I've been doing this a while, but that's how you, that's how you put a rib in place. Now the one thing I did on that that I didn't talk about when I pulled it out, because it was a test rib, I didn't look for I didn't look for grain right now like we talked about earlier. So on this one you look, it's got a little bit of grain run out on this end. It's got a nice straight grain all the way up, but there's a little bit of run out here. So you want to make sure that, that grain run out is not in a place where there's a lot of bend. So on this one we're going to start it as close to the edge over here as we can. make sure the grain run out is not on the boat somewhere. I'm going to take it up through here. Clamps. And you can take your glove off at this point because they actually have cooled down quite a bit. And you put your clamp on. Over the other side, do the same thing. You follow your marks, gently push it up into place, put your clamp on, make sure it's touching in all the places. If it's not, bend it out, make sure it goes to the right spot on the stringer. Put another clamp in, it's tight here, it's tight here, it's tight all the way around. That rib is ready to go.
Now we're doing the long ribs right now. Um, you don't have to put them on any particular order. So you pull out the next one. Check for grain run out. Same thing, it's got a little bit at that end. So we're going to, and what I'm doing is, because it has a little bit of grain run out on it, I'm putting it in a place where the, you don't need quite as long of a rib. Instead of putting it here where your longest ribs are, I'm trying to minimize where that grain run out is. So we're kind of locating it more towards this end. Put your clamp on. Make sure you're tight against the stringers. Put your clamp on here. And same thing, you just, you bend it as you're moving it up. You see the way I'm kind of bending the rib at the bottom while I'm pushing it up towards the top here? You put a clamp somewhere in the middle. You look down here, you make sure that Make sure everything's touching and that rib is in place. Now, if you remember our earlier video, we talked about uh, using kiln-dried kiln -dried wood for ribs. This is kiln-dried oak from Lowe's that uh, has been cut, soaked, and steamed. You can see it steams, it steams and bends very well. It fits very well and it maintains its shape well when it's done. And so it's... Uh, Again, it's very successful. This bolt, all the stringers, Kielsen, uh, all the gunnels, these were all built with the premium pine from Lowe's. Uh, Home Depot carries it also. The ribs were built with uh, oak from Lowe's. So again, it's possible to build a bolt with premium woods from those places. Now when you get towards the end of the bolt, I'm going to use a long rib here. Normally you'd be using a short rib. When you get towards the end of the bolt, you're probably going to check for grain run out. This one's got a little bit at that end. Once you get down this end, it's very tough to put a rib in there. So we're going to try and put one in here. Uh, they're very pliable. You can see how much that bends and fits up in there. Normally this tape measure wouldn't be there. A little easier to work. So you can see, even though we're, you've got a very tight bend there, it fits in there quite easily. Got it down that side. And same thing here, we're going to bend it along. You're bending the bottom in to make sure that the, that the top of it stays where it's supposed to be. Spaces and blankets are very helpful. And that's that. So you can see, even though you can see what a tight bend that is and how easily it fit in there. Now we're going to try and do this one, which we probably won't be able to do. There's one more rib right here. Your last rib always kind of goes right here against where the uh, stem comes in. Not likely going to be able to make that bend, but I think we can make this bend, so we'll try that. Just to show you that it is possible, maybe. Okay, here's your grain run out. So again, you're, you're sort of bending it and moving it up at the same time. Then when you get to here, pull it very gently up to the keelson. Try and put a little bit more bend in it. You can see it doesn't like to be bent this tight. But normally you can get this next to the last one to bend in place. There it goes. 
clamp will probably pop off at some point. And we're going to do the same thing. This one I'm going to break down here because it's hanging up on the strong back. And we don't need that piece. And we'll try to put one more piece on here without breaking anything. Break that off right there. And that's how you put on ribs. And I think we mentioned this earlier, but you want to put your ribs on in two batches. You don't want to put all your ribs in the steamer one time because by the time you get done putting them on, those last ribs would have been in the steamer for probably an hour, hour and a half, and they probably don't need to steam that long. These have been steaming for about 25 minutes. They're perfectly flexible. They work very well. They're still tough enough to not split. And that's uh, steaming and installing ribs.